That is pretty heavy rain. I'm getting good at not eating the seeds. So here's a guided tour of Dreamcatcher Hostel in Ao Nang. Uh, this is very typical to a lot of hostels in Thailand. Paying 300 baht here at night. Uh, and it's good. I like it here. I'll show you around. So we're in the dorm. It's quite a small dorm, this one. Um, six people in here. It's got AC, which is good at night, unless people turn it off like last night, which wasn't so good. Um, it's called Dream Catcher, but it's emphasised on the cat. Om, the owner, absolutely loves cats. So, look, as you can see, there's cats everywhere. Lovely, lovely cats. Cat yawning with a heart. Um, here's another dorm. And there's another dorm further down there. So there's three dorms in total here. I think they're all six person. Uh, shower. Another shower. There's a toilet. There's me. The rhinos. Another toilet. This is the laundry area. The laundry costs 40 baht, which is about 80p. I did some laundry today because I was all out of clean underwear. Take you down to the social common area now. It's raining today. I am about to go and cycle all the way across town to a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu class for the first time, which is going to be fun. Oh, there's, um, oh, there was a kitchen out the back as well, I've got to show you, but there's a fridge here, there's free breakfast here, you can have cookies and toast and bananas. What kind of sicko keeps bananas in the fridge? Blockers here my bike helmet and this is the social area so I did the BJJ class today and bloody hell it was hard um, when you move in ways you're not used to even if you think you're fit you get absolutely work. So that was really good actually, it was really good fun. Um, boy, the instructor, who's a Thai guy, was really nice. Uh, it was just me in the class as well, so I had like one-on-one -on -one tuition, which was, which was awesome. This is at Emerald uh, MMA Gym, Emerald MMA and Muay Thai Gym in Ao Nang, Krabi, Thailand. Um, but I basically decided I'm not going to do the book BJJ because it's very very technical and a boy's English is good but um, it, you really need everything explained to you as to why you're doing it and the best ways to do stuff and um, it's, it would be better if, if I was doing it in England basically. So tomorrow morning I'm going to try the Muay Thai. Um, the reason I didn't try Muay Thai initially was because of the shoulder and knee injury but um, I don't know, we'll just see, see how it goes tomorrow. I hope it goes well because it'd be great to stay here for another month and do Muay Thai. So we'll see you in the morning. Something I do really like about this hostel is that it's no smoking. There's a smoking area at the front but nowhere else inside is smoking because backpackers love to smoke and it, I don't like to smoke and I find it really annoying that oh, wherever you go there's always people smoking around you and yeah, so that's, that's a really big plus about this place. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, Om, the owner of the hostel, found this stray outside last night and brought him in, put some cream on his ears and gave him some food and now he, he's pretty much become a guest at the hostel, haven't you mate? Yeah, you have. Uh...